flour, all-purpose unbleached baking flour. That's a quite a large bag. Let's see, what does it say it is? It's a 25 pound bag. Here's what we're going to make today. Tasty monster cookies. Okay, my beautiful friends. I am starting out with one and a fourth cups of flour. And it's just in the Costco haul that we got that now I have flour. I can make these cookies. So I'm excited. Cut the bowl and got the flour right here. Gotta get one and a fourth cups of flour into the bowl. I'm gonna use the one cup and grab some flour out of the bag. Make sure I get one cup in there. It's not quite one cup because I don't want to go over, but I don't want to go under. There we go. Okay. And now we need the fourth. Right here. One and a fourth cups of flour. Okay, we're gonna need the flour, M and M's, chocolate chips, oats, baking soda, creamy peanut butter, an egg. Butter, sugar, two types of sugar, we need brown sugar, regular sugar, and some vanilla. Let's get started. Okay, first off, I need to add a half a cup of packed brown sugar. much a half because I think got to pack a little bit more I'll add just that okay so there's that and of the regular sugar I'm really almost out of brown sugar here but I'm not going to add what more I don't have to let's just get it Put up. Okay, of the regular sugar, we need to add a fourth of a cup here. So let's get a fourth of a cup. soda. I need a teaspoon of that. I've got my teaspoons over here. Is that a teaspoon? Okay. 
here. Okay. There we go. Teaspoon. And thing about this this cookie is I knew them very well when I was younger, these cookies, but I haven't made them in quite a long time. And my husband says he doesn't like them. So they're probably gonna end up going to the neighbors. But that's okay. They'll be happy to receive them. And I'm thinking that my husband might like it more than what he thinks. I don't know. We'll see. Half a cup of oats. Then we need one teaspoon of the vanilla extract. Get that in. There we go. Okay, then we need some creamy peanut butter. Three and a fourth cups of the creamy peanut butter. Oh, this one's a brand new jar. So we gotta get into a brand new jar of peanut butter. Okay. Mm. Smells good. Love it when we have a brand new jar. Okay, so I need to grab the fourth of a cup. I'm gonna grab three of these. So we'll do our best getting what we need into here. There's one. Here's what we got going on. <laughs> Okay, we need a couple more. Two here. And then and we'll grab one more. That was a good shot though turned out to be a, a one that got a an alarm. Okay, that is it for peanut butter. This sticky stuff likes to stay in the cup. So we've got to Get it out of there as well as we can. That's going to be just as well as we can do that. We'll leave it there. And let's get this mixed up a little bit. All the ingredients. Not too much mixing because we don't want to mix that flour too much. Just get everything combined. So we'll get it to about so at this point, then 
I add an egg. It's the chips and the M&Ms. Now we need to add the softened butter. I softened it in the microwave. So it's hopefully soft enough. I had gotten it out of the freezer so we'll mix that in. Okay, see how it's coming together? We've got where the butter was softened, so we can see where the butter is at there. It just needs to incorporate with the rest of the ingredients and then we'll be there. looking real good. See what that looks like. All mixed together. Looks a brown color because of the, the peanut butter and smells of peanut butter. Smells really good. I'm going to just of my own accord put this in the refrigerator for about half an hour. Just because I want to make sure that the cookies turn out and because you had to warm up the butter a little bit. So I'll get that in and then we'll get the chocolate chips and the M&Ms in. Our batter had time to rest and to sit in the refrigerator for a half an hour so that's a good enough time to make sure that they come out nice and even baked. The recipe calls for three-fourths of a cup of M&Ms and a half of a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and so I've got the ingredients here and I'm going to go ahead and add in the three-fourths of a cup of M&Ms. i got this large sharing size here. I'm go ahead and get this. This one is a fourth of a cup I have here. There we go. There's three fourths of a cup of those M&Ms. And now, let's get those chocolate chips in. Go ahead and continue to use the fourth of a cup. Get a couple of these in. Here we go. That's all the, the chocolate that it calls for. like 
The dough is seized up a little bit because of being in the refrigerator for a, a while, but that'll be just fine because it'll give us a little bit of space to work in these chips. And that was the alarm for the oven saying that it's ready to receive some cookies to bake. It's all warmed up. So we looks like it's incorporated through quite well. Make sure that every bit gets some. This is a recipe that is like ones where you like the peanut butter and chocolate together. It's a really, really yummy combination. And that's what this is. Getting that yummy combination of the chocolate chips and M&Ms. And then putting it in the refrigerator really helped because of the butter, obviously, as I said, being warmed up. I wanted to get that cold again. And also letting the flour rest and giving it that time that it needs get a good bake on. So there we are. We look like, looks like it's incorporated quite well. So once you get them in there, it's make so these look looking great. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Um, it's going to turn out pretty good. I'm sure the neighbors are going to love them. Let's get them placed on the cookie sheet. Okay, I've got the cookie scoop here. This one is just a regular size cookie scoop. And oh, but I've got chef's taste, huh? Let's taste the dough. If you want that front. Mmm. Good. Hopefully they'll taste better when it's baked. I'm thinking before I bake these off that needs a little salt. I never call for salt. And I always add a little salt to my dishes. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go against the recipe and add a little, little bit of salt. I'll just add an eighth of a teaspoon like I usually do in my dishes and hopefully that will elevate this. I don't know, but I think it needs some. Okay, let's get this mixed up again. Sidetrack. <laughs> but it just seems to me that we need to get a little bit more of that in there for flavor. Just my opinion. I'll get it all mixed in real well so that get that salt that I added real good in there. I just was wondering why this particular cookie wouldn't say on the ingredients of the recipe that I'm using to have some salt. I don't know, but 
we've got it now. No worries. Hopefully that helps it out. Makes it taste at least a little better. Okay, I'm going to get a small amount again. I don't know if that will make it taste good at this point or wait till it's cooked, but let's see. Let's get started getting some cookie scoop and made here. Hopefully these turn out good. the cookies on there hopefully they're spread apart good enough and we will get them in and baking and another thing I wanted to make mention of is you can make dough like this and take the dough and keep it in this types of like scoop it out in to these and then you can keep them in the freezer. And they'll keep for a while. Just grab them out, thaw them out, and then bake them. So let's get these in the oven. I wanna bake some too on this little stone that I got. And this is a stone I got from the Pampered Chef. I don't even know if you can see that on there, but it's got that on there from the pampered chef and it's just a small one that was just for the two of us but I can get a few more cookies they bake perfectly well on this stone so I'm gonna get some placed on there and I've got the first batch in the oven right now so once those come out, I will get those on a baking sheet and then these to go in the oven at the same time as them. These cookie scoops, by the way, are great. I didn't have one for the longest time and I just scooped out as much as I thought, but these cookie scoops per scoop out the perfect amount and in a perfect size of a circle. I love them. These stay pretty small. They don't spread a whole lot. So that's good. They're just a small cookie. That's if, depending upon what size of a cookie scoop you used in, I just have a regular size cookie scoop that just makes them very small. I made here. I decided to put a bunch of them here. And so these are going to go on to there. Got a bunch of them just prepared ahead of time. So we need to 
get these resting on on the sheet here and cookie sheet. And have a taste. Okay, let's grab the spatula. These look wonderful. I'm sure everyone will really enjoy the nice taste of these soft cookies. Like I said, you can make as many as you want and keep them for later on or make them all at once, like I'm making them for the neighbors. I'm sure that anybody that you make these cookies for are going to appreciate it. Look how easy that is once I have them made ahead of time. And then I just can just place them on the cookie sheet. And ready for another pop in the oven. A half of them made here just cooling on the cooling rack. I'm going to grab one and try it, see what it tastes like. I haven't, I promise, I haven't tried any yet. So this will be my first time trying one of these cookies. So let's see what this is like. good. You see there? I can see an oat on the middle. So it's got the oats in there. It's chocolatey and with the M&Ms there you have a little bit of the crunch because of the candy shell. I'd recommend trying these, they're, they're tasty. And I'm sure that the neighbor kids are gonna absolutely love them. Thank you for stopping by today. You have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. I love you all. Bye. Here this is all packed up for, for the neighbors just to cute little card and a, something to say thanks for being great neighbors their kids three kids will absolutely love those cookies